guys, it's me, it is Nick the Booksmith, and I thought I'd do a little clog today, even though the top of my head is cut off. Is that better? That's a little better. Um, I'm on my way to um, the next town north of where I live to go to Vitamin Cottage. Exciting, right? cloudy today. Thank goodness. Um, I hope we get some rain. I, I have, I have a reverse seasonal depression. So lack of moisture falling from the clouds, um, makes me sad, very sad. And so clouds do help. I, I, the, the relenting sun being taken away is helpful and it's a cooler day because it's like maybe 70 degrees right now which is phenomenal um, but I really need some rain and I need rain soon so that's that's what I'm hoping for today so let's all pray for rain let's do our rain dances don't get naked in the backyard don't blame that on me if you do that's not what I'm talking about but anyway I'm going to vitamin cottage and I thought I'd the time because it takes a few minutes to get there to kind of talk to you guys about the um, journal making courses that will be going up um, pretty soon so I have decided that I will probably um, burn DVDs and mail them out so that you have a physical copy that you can watch on your TV if your computer has a DVD drive you can watch them on your computer um, if your computer does not have a DVD drive, I mean, you can get one, but you can watch it in any DVD player on on a TV. So that I think I think most people have that. The reason why I I've decided to go this route is because I thought about hosting it on a like a internet course. There's there's websites that will host internet courses for you. Um, but what if something happened to me and the, my page went down, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, I would need to have to have, I would need to leave access up, um, forever for this course for whoever wanted it. And so if something happened to me, it would, the access would be gone and that would not be fair to you guys. But if I burned a DVD and sent it to you, then you would always have it. You would always have it and you could watch it as much as you wanted. Another thing about that is, even though I'm kind of a, a Facebook idiot, um, I really need to take a course on, on Facebook, you know, Facebook for dummies because something about it I just, uh, but I will, I will power through and I was going to make a group so that everybody, <laughs> this guy's trying to get around everybody and like, we're coming up to a red light so there's nowhere he can go. Uh -huh. Um, sorry, that was jer that was jerky of me. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. Anyway, so I was going to make a Facebook group and everybody who, um, buys the course, um, can be a member of this group and then that way we can I can answer questions um, you guys can post pictures uh, we can talk about the techniques um, I will share downloads with you those of you that want to buy the course and we'll I'll, I'll, I'll name the group some you know something cute and um, and then we'll be it will be a little group and then that way I will learn Facebook <laughs> and I will be able to upload um, files so that you guys can download files and um, like like ephemera like I've got a lot of scans that I could share with you guys and I think that'd be a neat way to do it so that's the plan and then that way you kind of have technical support from me um, and I will keep an eye on the Facebook group. Of course, I'll be the, the admin, so I, I guess I'll have to, right? And um, I'll be able to answer questions and that kind of thing. So let me know if that sounds cool. 
if that sounds feasible. Um, if you don't do Facebook, that's fine because I don't do Facebook. So if anybody who buys the course is more than welcome to um, email me or contact me on Etsy, um, I can give you my phone number. We can chat on the phone if you're having an issue with something. No big deal. No big deal. But I decided to go with a with a video course instead of PDFs because I personally am a visual person and it's easier for me to explain something kind of in person instead of taking pictures and writing captions. So that is the plan, my friends, and I hope I hope that will work out for everybody. I tried to think of a way that would be one easy on me in a way that I know that I'd be able to do it and and create it and be able to keep up with it. That's that's one thing. But also I wanted to make it to where it's um, the best way that it's teachable to you guys. And so I hope that seeing me do this in, um, on, a, on a video, basically in person, will help. And another good thing about the Facebook group, as I've noticed, I, I watched a video on making Facebook groups. Thank you, Hallie, for the link. Um, is you can upload videos. So, um, so the members of this group will also have access to um, videos that I put up, maybe maybe extra little techniques that I come up with, that kind of thing that it's hard to explain in text, but that I could I could totally do a video and explain it on a video. So how's that? I hope that sounds like um, a good way to do this. <laughs> um, I'm trying. I'm trying, my friends. I'm trying. I hope everybody is having a good week. It's only Tuesday. Um, I've had a rough couple of weeks. Really, really, really rough couple of weeks. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm sucking it up. I'll, I'm dealing. Um, I'll get through this. But um, it, like I said in my last video, it really helps talking to you guys. It really helps because I'm voicing it and it really helps so thank you thank you for listening thank you for being a shoulder to cry on and um, I really appreciate it so I guess that's I guess that's it that's what I wanted to tell you guys I promised some more info on the video course and um, all the parameters are being written down so I just it's cloudy today I was actually gonna start filming today but it's too cloudy and I don't know if the, the quality of the video would be that great. So, um, and the lights I have, cause I have lights, but they're not, I don't know. I don't, I like natural, nice, bright, natural light. So, um, I think it, I think it does better. So, so I'm not going to be getting that today. Okay, that's that. Let's stop talking about it. We're done. Um, I want to get out a couple of naked journals, I think, this week um, for the Etsy store. That would be great. Um, so I might work on, I might work on that. I just wrapped up um, all the custom work, so um, a couple of naked journals might be cool. Um, I'm kind of scatterbrained this week. Not kind of. I'm scatterbrained this week. So, oh, I'm wearing my seatbelt. I promise, guys. It's a habit. I put it under my arm. I need to get one of those sheep thingies that goes here. Um, but thinking of a theme and, and following through with a theme on a book um, today just seems like it might be an impossible task. So, Naked Journals... All I have to do is think of what I want on the cover and the color. <laughs> so I, I'll probably do a couple of naked journals. And I haven't done any of those in a while, so I'm in a couple of weeks. So maybe I'll get some of those started today so I can get those up by the weekend because they take, you know, they take time. Everything takes time. You'll, you'll see when the video goes up. And of course, I'll be able to edit it down um, just 
for what you need um, because it takes a long time to make a journal. Well, the video's not gonna be 40 hours long. <laughs> so, well, it might be. Um, we'll see about that. I, I hope it's not. I don't wanna bore you all to tears. But um, I'll be able to edit it down to the pertinent parts so that you guys can get the details on what you need. But you'll, you'll understand how long this process takes. This is not, it's, it's easy in a way that, well, now that I've done hundreds of them, it's easy for me. Um, but, uh, that van's getting too close. Um, but it takes time. They're time consuming. So, you'll understand. You gotta wait for things to dry and you gotta get things just right or you get mad and you throw it on the floor and you kick it to the corner. You know, stuff happens. But um, you'll see, you'll understand. I am getting into the other lane. Cause Vitamin Cottage is on that, that side of the street. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going to Vitamin Cottage. I rarely go up here. It's, how long has this video been? Oh, I shouldn't be looking at my phone. Probably 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes I go to Sprouts. They carry a lot of stuff, but there's some stuff that they don't they don't have. So I end up just going up to Vitamin Cottage. And um, hey, and maybe I'll go by um, Target and see if I can get one of those pluggy any thingies for my phone. So it has the earphone and the little um, the little speaker thing. So I can be incognito. I might do that. I'm I'm not. It's very peopley outside today. It's, there's a lot of people outside. I think when kids are off from school, you know, their parents are taking them everywhere. And, and I'm um, I don't really like crowds. So I went to the store. I went to the grocery store last night, and it was like wall to wall people. People were everywhere and it was all I could do my friends to I didn't write a list which was A. My fault. Um, I should have written a list but I, abs I get in there and there's so many people in there that I, I lose track of what I'm supposed to be doing. Why do I do that? I, I just get it's not, I wouldn't say I'm anxious. I just I'm just distracted. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I forgot half the things I went to the store for. Um, does anybody else do that? Do you guys do that? Where am I the only freak in the earth that does this? Um, when there's just a lot of people, it t I tend to just um, lose track of my, my thought processes for some reason. I have left stores before because there were so many people I couldn't think straight. Is that weird? Do you guys do that? Tell, please tell me if you do that. Oh, please tell me if you do that. We'll start another Facebook group. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so anyway. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I am pulling up to Vitamin Cottage now and you guys don't wanna go with me. Sorry my phone rings and when my phone rings it turns off my video player <laughs> how rude right and it was some 1-800 number which means I'm not gonna answer it anyway I answer them sometimes but they're like they're like people that um, I answer the phone and then nobody talks ever it's really <laughs> it's really stupid uh, it's, I, I hate, I don't like, yeah, I don't like, I don't like people who call me and then they don't say anything. So, okay guys, I am at Vitamin Cottage. I will let you go. Um, I hope everybody has a good day and I hope you, um, if you've, if you've gotten through this whole video, bless your heart. Thank you for sticking with me <laughs> and I will see you guys really soon. Bye guys.